Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back. So I think we're gonna check on our mob farm and see how this is all going down here. Wow. Our tanks are completely full. That's a lot of XP we have already. Enderman's escaping somehow. I'm gonna turn the sound down a little bit while we hang out here. Can't believe those tanks are completely full. That's a lot of tanks. I mean, I expanded this quite heavily. Anyways, let's get back to what I changed. All I did change here was I just kind of moved it around and got barrels, which... is a little bit more efficient. I mean, it's a lot more... Um, it's a lot more... Um, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's a lot more real estate. But it, it will hold a, uh, quite a bit more than one chest. And what I'm using this chest for is kind of like um, kind of like the catch-all. Whatever I don't have set up in barrels yet, I'll just come look at my chest, see what's in here if I need to set up a barrel, and I think uh, I think everything's okay so far. I don't know why this heart container came in there though. So I do have a heart container chest right there. This is set to dense. Hmm, that's odd. That should definitely go into that barrel. So it looks like we pretty well got everything we want. I might set up another barrel for iron. Um, trophies I'm not too worried about. This armor, let's take care of this now. We have leather boots, golden boots. Leather, leather, gold. Leather and gold. Okay, so let's take care of this now. Um, separate the gold from the leather. Uh, I have to set this guy up. I'll just set it to output so nothing flows in. Whitelist, and we're gonna just whitelist all the leather stuff. Set this guy to ignore metadata. So anything pulls into here that we set, enchanted or not, any damage variable, will all flow into here and just get dumped. So you should be good now. And all of this armor should be getting dumpstered. Oh, golden boots. Did I get those? I did. I do have a plan for these spoils bags too. We'll get into them. I don't care about doing it now. We'll get into how to take care of those spoils bags soon enough. Just gonna throw these guys at the hopper, and the hopper should throw them towards the dumpster. I can't believe we're full, though. So much XP, I can't even see what I'm doing. Just do it this way. Alright, so let's go get some more tanks. Oh, and this is a little bit changed. We'll get to that soon enough. I just kind of made room for expansion. Uh, we need some more tanks for sure. So let's just grab, let's say, 20 more tanks. This is why I like Railcraft tanks. And we don't have Railcraft in this mod pack. Some different type of tank storage would be nice because... Yeah. Yeah, this is a lot of tanks we gotta invest in. I'm just gonna go all the way around. And then we'll make another row if we gotta. I do plan on transporting this XP uh, later on. Now I don't need it, but later on we'll need it. God, I can't believe we're full there. Completely full. Find your home in the dumpster. That carrot should get dumpstered as well. I we have that set up. Yep. And there's our armor. Perfect. Trash cam is a very cool thing. Such a very small thing, but a very cool thing. Yeah, and I think I set up just about everything I'd want here. I do want the spoils bags, not in barrels for... We'll, we'll get to that, like I said. Golden leggings. Let's set those up really quick while we're here. Uh, yeah, I didn't have leggings. There you go. You should get trash canned as well. Perfect, that should be good. I think we're gonna get chain, though. Chain is like a super rare drop. So we will get chain. Let's turn the sound up a little bit again. 
25. And I do have a little problem of spiders getting caught here. So I might put one more row of bricks here on uh, on the window seal and I'll put some fans just to kind of blow the spiders into the hole so they can't claw up the side like that. If you walk away they kind of lose interest in you and they'll fall in. Yeah, there he goes. He fell in. He kind of lost interest in us. And the only other thing I changed was this, just so I had more room for machines, because I did make these Ender I.O. things, so I just made a little maintenance room. More room for machines. And it kind of looks neat. So I think I'm just going to be working on some applied energistic stuff. I'm going to be getting a couple more of these interfaces. Uh, one for the pulverizer and one for the induction smelter. So let's get a couple of these things put together. I've got one processor left, so I think I'm going to need some more processors. Um, I'm just going to grab 20. Oh, 19, because my quartz knife is out. And that's close enough for me. This guy should pull him into the system. Let's make another quartz knife really quick. Quartz cutting knife, that's it. Oh, I didn't shift click it. I was going to say, what the heck happened there? Quartz cutting knife. Now we need these interfaces. Uh, what else do we need? ME cable, glass, iron, conversion matrix. We're going to need fluix dust. I'm going to make quite a bit of flux dust because I do want to run some shit through there. Right, nether quartz dust. Creeper explosion. Okay, so... Glass. I think I need to make some glass. I got 40. We're gonna get some glass going though. I'm gonna need some... I think I can make the interfaces now. Let's see, I wanted Two and I think two should be enough. Gonna need some ME cables. Oh, there's my glass shortage. Will clear glass work in here? Is it or dictionaried? No. Need to wait for the glass. Oh, and while I'm waiting for my glass to smelt up, I came to check because I'm gonna need some more wood. And I came to check and we're stuffed with potatoes. So, I do have a solution for this. We're going to need to upgrade this guy to a void barrel. And we're also going to want to put a buffer, like a kind of a catch-all chest, just like our mob farm. We're going to throw a catch-all chest just to uh, grab all the seeds and anything else that's excess. So we should have a copper chest, which is more than enough for me. Uh, item duct. Stay with the opaque, because that's all set up with opaque anyways. Um... Okay, yeah, Jabba now. I need to go to a Mark 2 for iron on that, so Mark 1, Mark 2, and a Void. Two pistons and obsidian. Good, I got it. I'm just going to set up my potato barrel to void it all. We don't need more than 64 stacks of potatoes. That's something I can be pretty sure of. Two and void away. Let's see if these potatoes are going to find a home yet. Hmm, they're still kind of backed up. If I pull a stack out. I'm curious to see what happens if I break this. We had quite a lot backed up in there. Some seeds and some essence. It's definitely harvesting now, so our field is going to work now again. Oh, and I did add one little tiny tree plot, just so I don't have to worry about lumber. This does have the void upgrade. I'm, I'm wondering if it'll work or not, because there were still potatoes backed up in that pipe. We'll give this some time. 
Uh, let's set up a buffer chest right here. Like so, disconnect that. Make you uh, dense. I think that's what it's called. The red's called dense. Yeah, mode dense. And this should be kind of our catch-all once we hook this up. So any excess seeds and whatnot after our planter is full, it should send them to this chest. There we go. That's all connected now. That's just one little minor tweak that... Yeah, because that planter is really starting to fill up with seeds and whatnot now that our plot has been running for a long time, this should tar start uh, picking up the excess crap. Well, we're not stuffed up yet. I think that did the trick. Oh, I can keep injecting into that barrel. It just got completely voided. I had those 40-some potatoes in my hand. It just voided them. That's good. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted. Now, we should have some glass set up already. I'm going to keep stuffing sand in here. Alright, so let's get back to these interfaces. I'm going to need... I just used... Um, I just used my matrixes to make a couple of these uh, imports, but you guys have already seen them. So let's see, we're going to need one more import and two interfaces, so that should do the job. Two interfaces, let's get a basic import. Okay, I'm going to need another one of these. There we go. I think that should be all we need here. Now, where's my redstone furnace? I just set an import in here so I didn't have to keep pulling glass out. It'll just keep sending it in. Ah, uh, that's my induction smelter. I definitely want that guy to be automated. Up and up. Set the outputs and the inputs. Input on bottom, output on back. Set it to uh, orange to get the full output, so any byproducts, um, like, um, I just pulverized nether quartz, but if I pulverized um, the ore, uh, the certus quartz ore, yeah, that would have uh, byproducts. So you definitely want it to set it on orange with these double things, unless you have something fancy set up. Alright, so basic import. Well, this is a problem. Not the end of the world because these conduits are friends with microparts. Conduits are friends with microparts, so we can do this. Um, actually, yeah, we'll go straight up like that. Basic imports on the back. That's all happy. Good. I wonder if I need them connected to the interface itself to to um, know it's actually crafted the item. I don't think so, but it's a possibility. All right, so these are all set up. Let's get this pulverizer uh, automated a little bit with a couple things I have in mind right now. Three things, actually. Certus Quartz. Certus Quartz, Obsidian, um, what else would there be? Obsidian, Certus Quartz, Nether Quartz. I think that should be good enough. Let's get some patterns. Blank patterns. Uh, give me about... Mm, let's go with 15 for now. Alright, so do we have any pulverized in the system? We do. Now what is it, one for four I think it is? Let's try this out really quick. Disable the output. I think one gives me four pieces of dust. Yeah, okay, so it's one to four. 
One piece of obsidian. Puts out four pieces of dust right there. And code. Awesome. That one's done. Um, let's get nether quartz. Do I have any dust in here for it? Nether quartz dust. Certus quartz dust. I just pulled some out. Oh, right there. Now, what's the ratio to this guy? I don't think this has to be exact because, I mean, we're just importing it directly anyways. It seems to be one to one. You give me you in code. Perfect. And did we do the Certus? No, we did not. One Certus gives me two quartz. code. Alright, so now we have our pulverizer ready to go pretty well. Pulverizer. Let's pop these guys in. Nice. And the induction smelter. Um, What could I make use of it right now? I mean, steel. We do make a lot of steel. Can I shift click steel in? I don't think so. Steel. Yeah, I can't really shift click this in. One iron, four charcoal gives me steel. Mm, not electrical steel, steel. Iron. Charcoal. One iron, four charcoal gives me steel. And code. Nice. Anything else I'd want this furnace to do? Hmm. Hardened glass. That's another idea. Yeah. Hardened glass. Can't really shift click this one either. This is eight pulverized obsidian and one piece of lead equals two glass. All right. Give me eight of them. Lead. So lead, obsidian, gives me two glass. Perfect. I think that should be a pretty good start. If there's anything else I can think of, we'll just throw it in as time goes by. Don't really need to show this process anymore. Um... Yeah. Oh, one more really important thing. Yeah. I'm not sure if I could shift click this one either. Yeah, you can't really shift click this one. Okay, so clear this out. Sand equals glass. No more of this tomfoolery. Crafting glass manually. Ugh. Perfect. So that guy knows, now knows how to make stone and glass. I don't need this one on here. I just put it on there out of laziness. I do like this one being a manual furnace. Now I'm kind of worried if these have to be connected, um, like this guy with a single cable, to see if they actually are making what they need to make. Great. So that guy's all connected. Let's get some covers on here and finish this guy off. I'll be back in a minute guys, I'm going to cover this up and kind of decide what I want to do next, if I want to connect that chest or go on to a bigger AE thing. So I kind of decided that I did want to go on to a really big AE project now, and I think I kind of want to lay it out three in that spot. Yeah, I want to make a 6x6 six six, uh, ME assembly assembler chamber. I think it's called an assembly cha assembler chamber. Assembler chamber. Chamber. Oh, talking is hard for me. How does one speak? So I'm going to have to move some stuff out of the way. And this is going to be a pretty expensive build. Because if I want to go 6x6x6, six by six by six, I'm going to need, what, like 50... 50 some walls. 
I'm gonna need like 50 of these containment walls and I'm gonna need like I think I'm gonna need like 90 some vents I mean heat vents these vents aren't too bad but these walls are gonna be expensive I know I have some iron and gold stocked up here this guy's been running overtime so let's see iron and gold yeah, we're going to partake in a really big project here. Definitely have a lot of iron and gold, though. Alright, so let's start with this guy. Assembler, chamber wall. I think I'm going to need 56 of these if my math is right. So let's see how many we can make. This is just chewing through my iron and gold right now. Certus Quartz I'm not too worried about, but Iron and Gold, that is on a time limit, so I mean, we do have to wait quite a long time to get what we need. So I should need 56 of these walls. Uh, let's see, do I have any hardened conduits? I'm going to reroute this cabling, guys, and I'll be back once I have this sorted out. Alright, so I'm back and the cabling has been rerouted. The nice thing is, once I get this giant multi-block of awesomeness built, these cables will kind of talk through it, so I don't have to have this excess of cabling here. You know what, I'll leave that there. Just because, like I said, they'll talk to each other. Oh, no, that one does a better job. I'll pull this off. When I have this completed, I can remove this whole section there. But, let's see. I think... Three, four, five, and six. Perfect. So I should kind of go over what this thing does. What this thing does is like um, auto crafting to the extreme. This whole thing is basically a giant auto crafting block. It doesn't have to be this big. As long as you have two of the important internals, which are crafting CPUs and pattern providers. Yeah, pattern providers. As long as you have those two internals inside of your multi-block, it can be as big as you want, or as small as you want. I want to go big with it, just so I can store as many, many patterns as I want, and it will always craft at a pretty decent speed. Pretty decent speed. And it's kind of a showpiece, too. I mean, this multi-block is pretty cool looking. You, you do want it to be big. I was off by one somehow, so I needed 57 walls, unless I lost one somewhere. Hmm. That doesn't make sense how it could be off by one. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Six, yeah. Well, it is six by six by six, so I guess I was off by one. So I need one more wall. I must have lost one somewhere. This doesn't make sense, I was off. Okay. Assembler containment wall. One more view. Oh, I had one. Well, I don't know where that one came from, but I didn't see it two seconds ago. So let's fix that. Good. And now we need to fill in these walls with the heat vents I was just showing you. And I'm gonna need, what is this, like... 4 times 4, so that's like 16 times 6. What is that? Uh, I don't even know what that would be. I think that's around... Yeah, that is 96. I just double checked. So, my first guess wasn't too bad. That's 96 exactly we need. Yeah, 16 times 6, so 96. I just checked the math on that. So we're going to need these heat vents, which means I'm going to need more cables. I mean, cable. Need some more of these. Just make as many as we can, because we will need even more later. Heat vent. Heat vent? Heat vent. There we go. Oh, I'm going to need some iron bars, that's for sure. Get a stack of bars. And, let's see. 19. Oh, jeez, this is so expensive. Two, 
two more stacks of bars. 51. Three stacks of bars? Okay, and now I'm out of iron. Completely out of iron. Well, it looks like we're waiting on this project because I'm completely out of iron. Three blocks left. That's not going to be enough. Nope. Definitely not going to be enough. Well, I've got a good amount on the way there, so let's lay these out, shall we? And give me my builder's wand. Yeah, let's get these guys laid out. Gonna need to light this area up because stuff will spawn in here. How many was that? Did we go through 64 and 2 extra? 16 times 4? That, yeah, that's 64. So we had 66 together here. Okay. So we still need 30 more vents. 32 vents. Yeah, it'd be 30 more vents we need. Because we have 2 here. So we need 30 more vents, which means we need a lot more iron. So there's nothing I could do but wait. So there's a couple things I could do for now. It's um, definitely time to look in the CPUs because I want, again, it's 4 times 4, 16 times 3, 48. I'd want 48 CPUs and 16 pattern encoders. So we could definitely do this. I think CPUs. I'm gonna need 48 diamonds. How many diamonds do I even have? 40, so that's not too far off. It's not too far off. And trust me, this resource cost is definitely worth it. I need more silicon now. Which, that's one thing we could do actually with this. Do I have any rubber? Rubber. Let's teach our system how to make a whole process of rubber. Uh, give me my lumber axe. I should make a plot of um, plot of rubber trees over there in my farm too. One plot of spruce, or one plot of oak, and one plot of rubber. Never have to worry about doing this again. All right, so we got some rubber. Let's teach this guy what is going on here. So clear that out. That equals that. In code. And now clear. That will equal silicon. If I even have any, I don't. So let's get this guy smelted up. Oh, what the hell was silicon again? I forget. Oh, that's dust. That's quartz dust. That's right. Nether quartz dust equals silicon. Or certus, for that matter. Hmm, I think certus would be a lot more difficult to come, af come uh, after. Well, I guess not, because we're farming it. Let's use certus quartz for this job. So this is still good. Run rubber bar equals one raw rubber. That's fine. We can keep that. And we can actually keep this job too. Uh, give me another rubber bar. I'm fine with it knowing this as well. Uh, one rubber bar equals raw plastic. That's good to have known too. So I'll take care of that. Let's clear this guy. One certus quartz equals silicon. Don't have any, so let's go with the dust. Make one of those. Don't know why I thought. I don't know. I guess my brain wasn't working. 
had something else in the mind. That's perfect. There we go. Now this guy's set. So these will all go into the furnace pretty well. Those are all furnace recipes. Great, so you're making raw rubber into rubber, you're making rubber bars into plastic, and you're making silicone with dust. Let's uh, request some dust. We can even sort by this. We have all this stuff craftable now. Make me a stack of dust. And you should be crafting away. We already got one in. Alright, I'm gonna let this melt up and I'll be back. So I think this is where I'll probably end this off, guys. I'll make a couple of these CPUs and whatnot after, but I'm definitely going to get some iron seeds up and running, which is strong essence. We've been through this whole process. So I'm going to get some iron seeds in between episodes, so I don't have to wait on this sieve to get me the required iron I need. I guess it's okay. I mean, but it would be kind of fun to grow iron too. Why not? So I'm definitely going to get some iron seeds. Uh, let's throw you in there. Let's see. Do we have any silicon? Oh, we do. We got twenty some made up. And I'm gonna need a stack of a uh, stack of these processors too. Why won't these? St oh, those are already smelted. Because um, we'll throw those in there. Because the pattern encoder is that the one we need? No, we need the provider. Pattern provider also requires advanced processors, so that means we're going to have 64 diamond processors in this multi-block. You can't leave one open space. It all has to be filled in with a processor, or I mean a pattern provider or a crafting CPU. So take your pick, it's got to be filled in with it. And we're actually not that far away, because I mean... We still have five diamonds, so that was what, like 45 diamonds we burned up? So we're not that far away. I mean, hell, it's not going to take too long at all to get this done. I should have everything I need for the next video to finish this guy off, and we'll go full-blown AU with the uh, assembler chamber? Something like that? This is a containment wall. I think this is the assembly chamber. This is the official name. Something like that. Anyways, let's make some CPUs, if I can. How do I make these guys? Certus Quartz, Glowstone, Processors. Perfect. Let's make a few of these guys. So these guys basically craft. Uh, the more you have, the faster you craft. So, I'm gonna go with three rows of CPUs. Those guys are pretty obvious what they do. And you do kind of want a somewhat even ratio. And then we have... How many... Do I have any blocks of iron in here? No. And then we have the pattern providers. So I'm going to need two of these matrix, which means I'm going to need more iron. Alright, there we go. We got our block of iron, which should be enough to get us one encoder, I think. Provider, excuse me. Um, I need more fluid dust, which means I'm out of redstone. Oh my god, I'm out of everything. This is another extremely expensive build. Let me go grab some redstone. Alright, so we got some redstone now. So much farting around. Uh, give me just enough. Just enough. Two. Pattern provider, I'm gonna need one of these storage cells. Should have all I need there. And now we can make the provider, I think. Pattern provider, excellent. Just wanted one to demonstrate. So the provider is gonna go in the top row, and these provide one page of um, these guys. So it'll all kind of make sense what the whole point of this thing is. But once you have an encoded pattern, you could throw it in there. And you could teach it, say, eight wood planks equals one chest. So this thing is going to take care of a lot of monotonous crafting for us. And it's also going to automate the whole thing so we can request 
Say we wanted an advanced processor, we can request one. This thing will do the crafting that we always do in this cube. And then it'll send it off to the furnace, because the furnace knows how to smelt one, I think. Not yet. But we could teach it how to smelt one. And once it knows how to smelt a processor, it can do that. And then shoot it right back to our terminal. So that's the whole point of this big guy that we're going to have to finish off next video. We're short, I think, about 15, 15, 20 diamonds. And we're also short quite a bit of iron. So I'm going to get those iron seeds up and running. I'm going to wait for some diamonds to come from that gravel. And we'll see you guys next time.